Hello guys, it's Sherry here. Today I will be doing a makeup tutorial. Um, I'm going to be recreating a, an 80s look, um, and I have a reference picture right here on my phone. And I'm going to be, you know, trying to get as close as I can to that. Obviously it's not going to be the exact same. It's probably going to be a little bit different just because of different makeup products, different techniques and stuff like that. So it's going to look a little different than the reference picture, but I'm going to try to get as close as I can to that. Um, I'll go through the makeup as I use it, um, but I'll also be using products that I've bought or products that I've got from Ipsy or from family members, and um, I will let you know which ones I've bought and which ones I've received from Ipsy, and Ipsy is an amazing organization that sends you makeup samples based off of a personal profile that you start when you first enter into the, onto the website. And it's just asking personal questions about your hair, hair type, your skin type, skin color, skin tone, um, if you want color, like wild colors, or if you want neutrals and blacks, and it's just off, based off your personal preference. And they, the professionals that work for Ipsy, put together a makeup bag with five sample products or a makeup box or the Ipsy Glam Plus of five full-size samples and they send it to you every month if you pay for the every month and um, I've been using Ipsy for a while now and Ipsy is just an, a really really good organization just based off of you know how many professionals work there and how many or how like how well the makeup products that they give you match the personal profile that you have um, put in. Now to get into this again I'll be recreating an 80s makeup look and if I keep grabbing my phone, I'm just looking closer at the reference photo. Um, so let's get into the makeup. So to begin, I'm going to start off with this um, Glow Recipe Watermelon Glow Pink Juice Moisturizer. Now for foundation, I'm going to go in with this Maybelline New York Fit Me Matte Poreless Foundation in the shade Fair Ivory. And I have bought this and that moisturizer I got from an Ipsy bag. And I don't want to apply too much because in the picture it looks like she has a... Um, not a full coverage foundation on. So I just want to apply a little bit here and there. Now I'm going to take a beauty blender and I'm just going to blend that into my skin. Alright. Now, normally I would do the eyebrows, but for this one, because in the reference picture it doesn't look like she had anything done to her eyebrows, I'm not going to do anything to them. Okay. Now I'm going to go in with a little bit of concealer and I'm going to use this e.l.f. 24 cam uh, 16 hour camo um, concealer in the shade Light Peach. And I'm just going to apply dots so there's less, um, so I use less, but there's still the full coverage. And I'm going to use that same beauty blender and blend that out.
All right, now I'm gonna set all this in place using this Romeo London Stay Matte Powder in the shade Transparent. I'm just going to set all this in place so it doesn't move around on the face when we're um, applying other products or it doesn't uh, sweat off throughout the day. Okay. Now I'm going to go ahead and do the eyes. And with the eye look, it looks like she went all the way up to the eyebrow with a blue on the inner and outer corner with a light blue in the center, so that's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to take this Color Workshop Hues palette, and I'm going to use these two shades right here, the only two blues in the palette. And that dark blue I'm going to put on the inner and outer corners and blend in that, cent that center blue to give a, high a nice highlight to that. So I'm going to take a nice fluffy brush and I'm going to pick up that darker blue shade and I'm going to apply it all the way up to my eyebrow. And it looks like that she went further out uh, of the outer corner making a wider V shape so I'm going to go ahead and mimic that as well. And then I'm going to take a flat brush and pick up that lighter blue shade and just apply that right in the center. Blending it into the darker blue so it creates more of a transition. Now it doesn't look like she had any on the lower lash line, so we're going to go ahead and stop there and go with blush. Now, in the bottom of my hand, your uh, in the bottom of your hands, volume two palette, it has a it has three blushes in it. it has a light, medium, and dark tone, and I'm going to use the light one with a little bit of the medium one, and we're going to use a th this brush right here. And it looks like she has it kind of where we would apply our contour, so I'm going to start with the lighter shade on the apples of the cheeks going up to the temple, and then the medium shade closer to the um, contour line. So we're going to blend until this kind of fades into the skin. And then I'm going to go in with this medium shade, closer to the uh, contour line, up to the temple, just to give more of a deep. And I'm going to blend that out until it kind of blends together 
and gives a soft look to the cheeks. Okay. Now I'm going to go in with eyeliner and I'm going to use this Wet n Wild pencil liner in the shade uh, Baby Got Baby's Got Black and line my lower waterline like so and then I'm gonna go ahead and apply some mascara and I'm gonna use this superhero it cosmetics um, mascara in black to lengthen and thicken the eyelashes And then I'm going to go in with a red lipstick is what she's wearing. So I'm going to go in with this e.l.f. matte lip color in the shade Rich Red. that's it so we did an 80s look um, and in the 80s they were all about the color and the popping of the uh, uh, the really really intense blush the pops of color and the natural red lip so we did a nice blue look going uh, and a nice faded blue look we did nothing to the eyebrows just because there was nothing in the picture that suggested eyebrows were messed with so we left our eyebrows the same. We did a nice coat of mascara to lengthen and thicken the eyelashes. We did a nice liner to line the eyes and make them pop more. We did a nice hint of a light blush going up to the temples and a darker blush where the contour line would normally be to give some definition to the face. And we did a nice little red lip and that is it. If you wanna see more videos, please check out my channel and subscribe. Stay wonderful and see you next time. Bye.